hello I'm Ed Overstreet and welcome to the Night Sky Imaging YouTube channel. Hang on a minute, I gotta make some adjustments here. Okay, dope. Um, let's move over to Pix Inside and pick up where we left off, and that is done right now. And uh, when we were uh, uh, picked up the uh, uh, the last part of the last video uh, tutorial that I did, uh, we stretched this image, and uh, we did a couple of stretches. Uh, we used the automatic stretch, and then we used the one that <coughs> allows you to adjust the uh, the sliders manually and and stretch it to the extent that you're comfortable, uh, that looks good to you. And this is one of those. Uh, processes like Photoshop that you work on in, in images um, to where they suit you and uh, it's your choice it's uh, it, it may be um, a rendition that only appeals to you and that's okay uh, it doesn't have to appeal to everyone if you're comfortable with the colors the contrast uh, the stars uh, the framing uh, if you're comfortable with how it looks, that's what's important. Um, it's made for you. So uh, let's. Uh, okay, uh, I think I've got every window I need active that I need active. And so this is the image that we're going to be uh, working on, which is a clone of this image right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the. Uh, SCNR process and uh, this is a, a, a noise reduction uh, tool but it does uh, an, a pretty good job of re removing color cast and we clearly have a green bias now when I say a green bias uh, that's exactly what it appears to be but the reality is that this image has more HA, uh, uh, I guess you call it uh, gas or HA, uh, it is, it's a gas, a nebula, than it does sulfur or that it does O2 or O3. So we did map uh, hydrogen uh, to the uh, green channel. So this is the way it should look. Uh, but the uh, this personal choice thing is this what you like is this what I want it to look like and there's been times when I went ahead and just said yeah I'm gonna work with this because this is the green channel and uh, mapped with the HA the predominant gas in the nebula and what I want to do is I want to see if I can make this as contrasty and bring out the detail as I possibly can without overreaching. And uh, if I can, then the color's fine. But uh, I'm going to try to remove some of the dominant green bias. And I guess that's what we're just going to have to call it for lack of something better. By dragging this process uh, onto uh, the image. Now, you can find SCNR by going to Processes, All Processes, and just head down to the SCNR tool. And I don't know what it stands for, other I can, uh, noise reduction is the NR, I don't know what SC stands for. But it is uh, processing this, and uh, that's what this will now look like with the green cast removed and uh, and what happened when we took away the green is we removed a good bit of the um, the power that was in this image and it looks like it's kind of been dumbed down so in order to kind of bring this back to life we're gonna to have to make some tweaks to it but I'm gonna work with this so um, I'm going to uh, uh, get rid of the uh, green bias. One of the other things we could have done other than use this is we could have brought up the saturation tool 
and we could have identified the greens that were the issue and we could have desaturated them to the point where we uh, adjusted the greens without completely removing them but uh, I went ahead and I think I want to use this as the baseline now for all of our curve and saturation um, adjustments to get the colors the way I think I'm going to like them the best so let's go ahead and close out color saturation that is the SCNR process and um, uh, you do not necessarily have to chase the green color you can chase the red and the blue if your image is showing a bias towards either of those two colors and you don't have to use a hundred percent you can dial it down to uh, uh, a partial uh, removal of the cast that uh, you've selected. So with that being said, uh, that concludes this tutorial on SCNR. We now have a new image. We're going to re uh, change the identifier to SCNR and we're going to drag a copy of that over here to my desktop and we're going to now set that one back here. Our files are getting long, which is fine. I want to know where we are and what we've done in case I want to go back to a prior place. And when we pick back up again, uh, we're going to uh, uh, start working on some of the star size and see if we can't uh, make some adjustments there. Uh, but I've got another idea I may go ahead and uh, try to work with first. So uh, I may jump ahead and bring up curves and start working on the colors before I do that. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you have a good day. And, and make sure you stop somebody, say something nice to them. And I know you're both going to feel better for having done so.